Hello, I'm Steesh from Rainbow Sheep Productions and I'm gonna teach you how to install a Tekkit server for Hamachi. You can do it for other things if you've port forwarded and so on. But basically you wanna search Tekkit into Google and go to the first link. And my internet's being slow but it'll take you to the Technic Pack website which looks like this and make sure you're on Tekkit and if you don't have the client you download it here for Windows or Mac and you download the server here and then it'll start downloading here it is and then you go into your downloads and it will be in there but basically put that I'm just going to put it into the desktop for now minimize that uh, make a new folder for the server to go into rename it put that in there and then you do extract to and then it'll extract to a file which you then open up and edit to change your server basically the launch dot bat if you start that um, if you get this error where it says could could not reserve enough space for object heap could not create the java virtual machine just press any key then go back to the tech page and go to the forums and then go down to survival multiplayer and go to the inside havoc cx42 fixed could not create java virtual machine and then you get the second post there's this you wanna copy that go into the launch again right click and go to edit and then paste the message and save it and you should then get further and it will give you another error message saying caused by Java unsupported class version um, advanced machines basically close that go into mods find your advanced machines and delete it and then run the launcher again and you'll get your server starting it'll load the world basically while that's loading if you go into your server properties and you can basically if you wanted to change the level C to anything just do it after the server's done and then you basically if you have Hamachi put your IP at the top in here so I'll put, so I'll put mine in 24 and then just edit all these you probably want flight enabled for like jetpacks and stuff um, keep the port the same level type you can change it to flat if you want to and on like online mode true pvp and so on then if you save that and by the time you've done that the cmd prompt should be done just type in stop into that so it saves and then low you probably want to put your name into OPs and then if you launch it again you should basically have a server and if other people are in your Hamachi then they'll be able to join so basically to join you just open the tag launcher Yes.
and then make sure you've got Tekkit selected when it loads here you basically want Tekkit and then log in it'll show your skin and your name and then you basically add the Hamachi IP of the server into multiplayer and all your friends who are in the Hamachi room can join and then it's all good you can play you can do what you want and I'll also show you a quick fix for spawning items in accidentally when I log in mine's taken a while because I'm recording right if you go to multiplayer your save will be up and then just when you're in if you don't want people to spawn items accidentally you can choose to enable a recipe mode rather than cheat mode in not enough items and then you won't be able to spawn in items you'll be able to go into a recipe mode mode if you don't know what that is I'll show you what it is when it loads up taken a while but it should load soon it's taken a while because I've basically run the server from this computer as well it's not ideal to run it from the same computer if you host a mod for you and your friends if you have a laptop or anything try and host it from that it doesn't need too much RAM but it helps to have more obviously because if you go into your inventory you'll have the basically too many items equivalent for Tekkit in and then you'll be able to see all the items in Tekkit and you'll be able to spawn in stuff and there's also a recipe mode they added which is very helpful so yeah as soon as mine stops lagging I'll show you there we go basically you've got the items in the right and mine's already set to recipe mode so I won't be able to spawn in items Oops, stuff like that mine's still lagging a bit but I'll try and show you because when you start off yours won't look like that you'll have options in the left with like delete mode creative mode set sunrise set the time to like midnight and all that and then basically you want to go to options in the bottom left and then there's an option that comes up with loads of options in the middle and in the top right of them there's there'll be an option that says cheat mode if you basically change that to recipe mode then you'll be able to only see recipes and not accidentally spawn items so yeah just close a few of these to stop lag. Okay, well, mine's taking too long. There we go. Well, yeah, there's the recipe mode. Mine's set to recipe. You can click that to change it to cheat mode, and then you can choose whether or not you want to spawn items or just check the recipe basically you press R over an item that you want to see the recipe of and 
then yeah just get the recipes for items you want and I'll see you around <laughs>